Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa, and today I am going to talk to you about rag quilts. <laughs> so this is actually um, a viewer-inspired quilt because I've had so many people asking me if you can put batting into the quilt uh, the rag quilt where I showed you how to do it the flip and sew method where it makes it really easy to make a baby quilt and so I really wasn't sure because to be perfectly honest I don't normally put batting into my um, my rag quilts although I have started doing that so um, I feel like it gives it just a little more substance I don't notice much of a difference weight wise to be perfectly honest um but it does seem to give the the quilt just a little more substance in it i'm going to show you what i have made and i'm going to answer the question can you do it using the flip and sew method all right first things first i have gone and i've made quite a few things um, within the last couple of weeks and I'm going to be putting them in my Etsy shop so if you're interested in purchasing them or you just want to take a look at them um, I should have those up by the end of the week and my Etsy shop link is down below in the description box so be sure to check it out but I'm going to show you the quilt that I made last night and it turned out really cute this is a a little rag quilt that I put together. I love the little elephants. I think they're so pretty. And then here is the back side of that. It's a wonky piece backing, but it looks really, really neat. So I'm really pleased with that one. And then this is the one that I made using the flip and sew method. So to answer the question of can you put batting in it using this method, the answer is yes. Yes, you can. The only thing I had to do was I had to make sure that I put a stitch down here because um, to hold the batting. Because remember, when you're doing it with that method, you're not, you're just flipping and sewing it. So yes, you can do it. This is what the back side looks like. It's really cute. I am going to be putting this one up for sale in my Etsy shop as well. Those ones are not real large. Um, they'd be perfect for like a newborn baby. And then I've started working on something else that I'm going to be also selling in my Etsy shop. And I have decided to make little ribbon tutus for babies and little girls so if you're interested in something like this <laughs> um, check out my shop and you can see you can see what I have in there I only have this one so far I ordered a bunch of tool um, off of a wholesale site same with um, ribbon so that I can start layering the ribbon and more layers of tool so I'm excited about that. Um, I'll probably make some matching little shirts to go along with it. Um, so I can make some little birthday outfits and whatnot. But I'm going to go ahead and dive in and show you. I'm not going to do a full quilt on how to flip and sew. But I will show you so that you can get kind of the idea of how this works. So I've gone ahead and I've cut a piece of batting. I've cut a piece of my backing fabric and I have my fabric that I want to be on the front. Now, in the original video, which I will link here, um, at the end of this video, you'll be able to watch it. Um, so you can see what the flip and sew method is for rag quilting. Um, in the larger one that I did that I just showed you, the butterfly one, the butterfly quilt, um, all I did was cut a big piece of batting and I just sandwiched it in between just like I would normally um, with any quilt, okay? 
So this is going to be my back of my, what am I trying to say? My back of my quilt. <laughs> and um, so I'm just gonna lay that on top. And here's the front, right? And I just wanna smooth it out. Now all I'm gonna do with this batting in between is I am just going to fold this in half just like we did when we did the other one. And remember, you wanna make sure that your layers are flat inside, even with the batting, especially with the batting. And all I'm going to do is take it to the sewing machine and sew about a half an inch to an inch straight down. Just put a seam right there, right on that fold. When I start this, I am going to do a small little back stitch. You're gonna want a walking foot for this because you are sewing through multiple layers of fabric. And I just knocked something off my table. done. So once you've made this seam, you're going to do it just like before. You're just going to take a really pair of sharp scissors and you're going to slide it in between all those layers and you're just going to cut. Now, the difference here, as opposed to not having batting, is now we have batting in the middle and we need to cut that batting down. And so when I did mine, I cut this down pretty short and I got almost along my seam line here. But you wanna make sure that you are not going to cut the actual seam itself and that you're not gonna cut into the other piece of fabric that's on here because it's real easy to do if you're not being careful. But this is how far I cut the batting down. And then when you go to wash it, what will happen is, since you have all of the little fringes and they bunch up, it hides, it actually hides that batting. So you don't even know that it's there, which is kind of cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this real quick, just so you can see again. But I just get it real close to that edge and um, be careful not to cut into this part, this back piece of this, because you don't wanna do that. Now, if you wanted to create the squares, You would just take this, again, remember how we did it before, where you just folded it in half, like so, and then you would just sew, again, an inch down, and then repeat the same process. And then once you have that done, you just take your uh, spring, spring scissors, for your rag quilting and you just rag it just like normal and then you wash it in the washing machine and it'll bunch up and get all crinkly and it'll be awesome so that is how we do that and i will like i said i will link to that tutorial at the end of this video so that you can see how to do that and then incorporate batting with it. So I hope that made sense. And um, I wanna thank you guys for joining me today. I'm sorry that it's not a little bit longer and more detailed. Um, I am feeling a little bit under the weather. I didn't really sleep real great. And I think I ate something that I'm allergic to. So 
so I feel really terrible today. Um, but I did want to get this tutorial up for you guys. So if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, it helps the video to get seen and you're always welcome to share if you would like. I do love that. And um, keep on crafting and I will see you guys soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.